One Championship is home to the greatest hard hitters on the planet. And in celebration of its 10th year anniversary in 2021, relive the biggest strikes as we count down the top 10 Muay Thai knockouts. At number 10, in 2018, Pet Dam Pet Indy Academy announced his arrival on the global stage by knocking out Australia's Josh Tana, and he showed the world why his famed left kick is one of the most dangerous on the planet. Will Pet Dam wind up that awesome left leg roundhouse? There it goes to the inside thigh early on from the tie. Fake there from Tonna. Edging forward, Josh Tonna gets out of the way. Goes in early, throws a knee on the inside. Elbows and knees coming to play here. Knees from both these men. Uppercut elbow from Pet Dam. Crossing elbow from Tonna. Tonna got to watch his jaw here. There's an elbow again from Petam. Good work in the clinch from both of these men. Now referee Onari breaks it. Solid start to this contest. You can see Tonas listening to the advice of Michael Cervello as he's starting to inch forward to close that distance. He doesn't want to stay at kicking range with Petam, so he's got to get in nice and tight, let those hands go. Oh, cracking roundhouse kick to the ribs there from Pet Dam. Goes for the inside leg. Tonic continues to edge forward. Very high guard on the Australian. Nice left hook backs up Pet Dam. Thought about the overhand right. Tonic defends the roundhouse kick. Can he counter? Yes, he can. Good combination from the Australian. Pet Dam's left roundhouse kick is phenomenal. The power, you can feel it reverberate around this massive arena. Tonna got the right hand cocked and ready. There's a reason they put in the time bomb. Can the time bomb explode in the first round? He's looking to do that, but that, that whole left side, the left punch and that left kick is really keeping Tona at bay. Tona covering up well against the left roundhouse, fires out a straight right cross, drifts back to center cage, takes an inside fire, keep that one just grazed the top of the head. Lightning fast and powerful. You see the left round kick again there from Pet Dam. Connor, four arms. Guarding the body, guarding the head. Front kick there from Pet Dam. Connor waiting for an opportunity. Pet Dam not allowing him to get on the inside. Connor tries to thread the hook. Pet Dam circles into Tonna's power side. Tonna hooks wildly off the backhand, catches a kick, goes for a swing and execute it. They tie up now. Knee guard there from Tonna. Knee from Tonna to the rib cage. Knee from Pet Dam. They tango back against the cage fence now. Stop! And referee Onari Break. breaks them. 15 seconds to go in the opening Stop. round. It's been a ripper match. I'd like to see Tona start moving to the left and start timing that left kick. And as that left kick comes, if he can step off to the left of his own and let go of that big right hand. Final seconds. Is there one big power salvo left for either man? It's a roundhouse kick from Pet Dam. Double, triple, and Tona. Oh, right blow there from Pet Dam after the bell. And Tona caught him just before the bell with a sweet left hook right hand on the Look at that, there's that right hand jab from Pet Dam. Let two of them go right there. You can see Pet Dam just measuring, constantly measuring for that left side kick. But like I said, I'd like to see Josh Tona work his way to the left and counter that big left with a right hand of his own. Tona has never competed against an opponent of this caliber. And what guts, what intestinal fortitude from the little Aussie battler from Australia's capital in Canberra. Yeah, he's doing good. Rich Franklin, what did you think of that first round? Tell you what, there was a lot of volume in the strikes there, but you can see that when Pet Dam threw his first, his first left kick, the Tana's entire movement changed. The volume of his strikes went down, so obviously I'm going to give a 10-9 to Pet Dam on that round. Second round of three. We are seeing a tenacious battle of wills here between Australia's Josh Tana and Thailand's Pet Dam Inside leg kick from Tonna. Didn't see many kicks from the Aussie in the first. Jamie McEwick is coaching the corner, giving him plenty of instructions between rounds. 
Nice thread through there from Tonner. Takes a kick to the groin, and referee Onari will call time. So it will be a recovery period here for Josh Tonner. Up to three minutes allowed for recovery and medical examination for the Australian. Ladies and gentlemen, our athlete is going to continue and the match will resume. Yeah, man, when you get these southpaw athletes that have been throwing that kick for most of their lives, they just get so precise at it. Look at the way he changes. You can't really tell where he's going with it. He has a nice little cock to his hip. And look at Tana coming forward, trying to barrage on the inside. There's a big right hand and a left hook from Tana. Sticky left there. Oh, Tana catches him with the right. And again, the tenacity. He backs him up with the right cross. Josh Tonner, house on fire here in the second round. And picked up with the knees. Tonner showing no respect to the Thai superstar. That's the nuggety crit. Oh, the roundhouse kick for Pep Dad! The roundhouse kick for Pep Dad! Tonner's down! He said he'd knock him out in the second. And he's done just that. One of the most feared roundhouse kicks in the entire world does the damage again. Rich Franklin, that was precision and power. I, I actually, I think that left kick landed in the body. That was a liver shot. Yeah, I, I mean, it might have snuck his way up to his head, but the speed and velocity of this shot, check this out. Cocked, pulled, oh, look at that. That it got him with the knee. Yeah, it's right there. The knee caught him flush on the chin. Muay Thai knockout number nine belongs to Nguyen Tran Dui Niat, the flashy Muay Thai flyweight from Vietnam. Watch out for his thunderous high kicks. His opponent, Utah Watanabe, found out the hard way. Look out for Nguyen Tran Dui Niat in the black from Vietnam. Once his confidence gets flowing, so too do the acrobatic techniques. The bigger of the two, Utah Watanabe, Needs to use the reach advantage here. Nguyen will take his time, find the openings. Tanabe could not afford to let the Vietnamese combatant set the metronome. Brought down the house in Ho Chi Minh City on September 6th. The most popular, the most famous combat athlete in Vietnam, we are told, is a pop culture figure there on various TV shows and radio shows. Start leaking from Nguyen. Watanabe, seeing what this AG Vietnamese had to offer. Good inside leg check there from Nguyen. As always, Nguyen ripped, stripped and striated. Oh, Hook there from Watanabe. Go to the outside lead leg. That check is working well, though, for Nguyen. Every time he throws the round kick, it's loaded with power. Watanabe's got to protect his neck, especially that side, the left side of his neck. And Tula will not prevent Nguyen getting up there on him. Checks the low kick again, does Nguyen. I like the way he's checking these kicks, and he checks the low kick once more. And he's got good movement, staying nice and light, but he is circling to the power side of Watanabe. So he's really got to try to slow down. You can see how flat-footed Watanabe is. He's kind of standing there in front of him. So I like how Nguyen was starting to go to the legs, going to the inside leg kick. But also, there's a nice little hole that's starting to develop in the sort of the, the body of Watanabe. So I'd like to see Nguyen start to go to the body with those big, thunderous right kicks that he's got. Watanabe looks a little cautious to me at the moment. He knows the reputation, though, of the five-time world champion. You went. Oh, 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 man, the head kick I spoke about. To the left side of the net. You can see it coming all along the round and it's landed for the first time. You went glances towards his corner. Gives him a little nod. He's tough, Olivier. He's tough. 
amazing lead. And to end tries to finish it. Two clean head kick to the left side of the net. We mentioned it early on, it was unprotected. It was always going to be the target. Wow, that was beautiful. You could start to see. You could see the game plan unfold. New Yan started to touch up that inside leg, and then he goes foot to the back of the head of Watanabe. You can see Watanabe pops back up, says he's okay, but then gets caught again with that high kick for the second knockdown in the first round. Olivier Cost let that one go. Yuyu Watanabe is tough as nails. He's going to allow it to keep going. This man was excitement personified. You in Tan Donut. If you've never seen him before, I'm sure after tonight, he's going to become one of your favorites in one Super Series. Just about full to capacity now inside the massive Singapore Indoor Stadium. Will you in Tran Donut finish him out? Yet, folks, follow us across all your social media platforms at One Championship on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. 55% of fans in a great fantasy game tipping a win tonight for me, Grandona. Again, Watanabe's got to kick, cover the left side of his neck. He's got to glue that hand to the side of his head right now because Nguyen Tran Donut sees something. He is going to start to go head hunting momentarily. He may remain. going bananas in Singapore for him, just like they did in Ho Chi Minh City. Here's something special, folks. His name, Nguyen Tran Donut. Three knockdowns on a hapless Yuta Watanabe, all courtesy of that wicked, that vicious and delicious roundhouse kick. Number eight is one of the most ferocious knockouts you'll ever see. When Smokin' Joe Natawat took on Johan Fairtex Dre, the Frenchman found out why the Thai striker is called Smokin'. The fluorescent trunks on Dre, the red and gold on Natawat. Body shot nicely done off the lead hand from Smokin' Joe, then goes to the outside thigh, checks the inside leg kick. Jab two from Smoke and Joe. Knees are permitted, elbows are permitted. Front kick there from Joe, high left roundhouse kick. Good roundhouse kick again off the lead leg from Joe and a nice high check. Front kick from Dre. Overhand right from Smoke and Joe, he takes it! Here comes the monster truck! Here comes the punishment! Joe with the heavy artillery! Now, good job by Dre to keep his wits about him when the onslaught was coming down. Look at these knees from Joe Nuttall, what the trajectory! The point of the knee driving into the outside Go. left thigh of Dre. Smoke and Joe, house on fire, here in the first round. Michael, you said you wanted to see the Smoking Joe from Lion Fight, and this Stop. is the Smoking Joe. Go. Smoking Joe Nadawat opening up on Johan Dre in the first round. There's the right hand. Dre's on rubber legs. Smoking Joe unloading. The elbows there. The, the body shot to the liver. Dre in a hole on a bother. The right hand. Dre's okay to go on. Go! Joe pounces on him again. High left roundhouse kick, trying for the headache maker. Joe with the overhand right. Uppercut from Joe. There's the left hand. Smoke and Joe goes to the body. The power, the precision of the Muay Thai monster truck. 
Wow, with those small gloves, it is just slicing through the guard of Dre. You can see Johan Dre trying to cover up like he's covered up with big gloves, but there's no, there's so little room to get through. Overhand right from Smoke and Joe. Ties him up, there's the elbow to the orbital. Uppercut elbow, and a beautiful Muay Thai duck there from Smoke and Joe Nuttall. That was a beautiful redirection there. Came around and just sat Johan Dre down. Oh, left hand to the right! Johan Dre, how is he still standing? No! Yes, it's over! Smoke and Joe! Smoke and Joe! Smoke and Joe! That's the Joe Nuttall who became famous in America! That's the Joe Nuttall who became a two division champ! that Smoke and Joe Nuttall is renowned for. Oh, look at that. The hook wobbled him. Joe steps back, reevaluates the situation, and keeps letting them go until Dre crumbles to the canvas. After the break, there's more stunning Muay Thai knockouts from one championship including a cracker from the great Yodson Klai Iway Fairtax.